Welcome to Yellowstone National Park, a geologic wonderland in the heart of the American West. Home to geysers, hot springs, and breathtaking landscapes, it's one of the most visited natural treasures in the world. But beneath its beauty lies a sleeping giant, a supervolcano capable of eruptions so massive they could reshape the planet. The question on everyone's mind, could Yellowstone erupt soon? In this video, we'll dive into the science, separate fact from fiction, and explore what the latest research tells us about Yellowstone's volcanic future. Buckle up, it's going to be a fascinating journey. Let's start with the basics. Yellowstone is classified as a supervolcano because it has produced eruptions in the past that ejected over 1,000 cubic kilometers of material, enough to fill Lake Erie twice. These eruptions, called super eruptions, create massive craters known as calderas. Yellowstone's caldera spans about 30 by 45 miles, covering much of the park. The volcano sits above a hot spot, a plume of molten rock rising from deep within the earth. This hot spot feeds two magma chambers beneath the park, one about 4 to 14 miles deep and another deeper down. These chambers power Yellowstone's geysers and hot springs, but they also fuel speculation about future eruptions. So, what's the history of this restless giant? Yellowstone has erupted three times in a big way over the past 2.1 million years. The Huckleberry Ridge eruption, 2.1 million years ago, was the largest, spewing 2,450 cubic kilometers of ash and rock. The Mesa Falls eruption, 1.3 million years ago, was smaller but still massive. The most recent super eruption, the Lava Creek eruption, happened about 631,000 years ago, forming the current Yellowstone caldera. Since then, Yellowstone has had about 80 smaller eruptions, mostly lava flows, with the last one occurring 70,000 years ago. That's a long time ago, but it's worth noting that these smaller eruptions are far more common than super eruptions. In fact, the US Geological Survey says most of Yellowstone's past eruptions were not cataclysmic. So is Yellowstone overdue for another big one? Let's find out. You've probably heard claims that Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption. But here's the truth. Volcanoes don't follow schedules. The idea of being overdue comes from averaging the time between Yellowstone's three super eruptions, about 725,000 years. The last one was 631,000 years ago, so some say we're due in 100,000 years. But scientists like Jake Lowenstern from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory caution that this average is based on just two intervals which is statistically meaningless. Volcanoes erupt when conditions are right, not on a timer. Most volcanic systems that produce super eruptions don't do so repeatedly, and Yellowstone's magma chamber is mostly solid, reducing the likelihood of a massive eruption anytime soon. In fact, the USGS states that the odds of a super eruption in the next few thousand years are exceedingly low. So, what's Yellowstone doing right now? The park is alive with activity. Geysers like Steamboat, the tallest in the world, erupted twice in 2025. Though it's been quieter than its record 48 eruptions in 2019 and 2020. In July 2024, a hydrothermal explosion at Biscuit Basin sent tourists running as steam and rocks shot into the air. These events, while dramatic, are not signs of an impending volcanic eruption. 
They're caused by clogged hydrothermal systems, not rising magma. Yellowstone is closely monitored by the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Seismographs track the park's 1,000 to 3,000 annual earthquakes, most too small to feel. GPS stations measure ground deformation, which has shown minor subsidence, about 3 centimeters since October 2024. In April 2025, only 46 earthquakes were recorded, with the largest at magnitude 1.8. All of this is normal background activity, and there's no sign of an imminent eruption. Let's talk worst case scenario. If Yellowstone were to have another super eruption, the effects would be global. Pyroclastic flows could devastate areas near the park and ash would blanket much of North America with one to 12 inches in places like Colorado. This could disrupt agriculture, air travel and climate for years. The 1815 Tambora eruption cooled the planet by one degree Celsius, causing crop failures. A Yellowstone super eruption could be even more severe. But here's the good news. Such an event is unlikely. Most eruptions at Yellowstone are smaller lava flows or hydrothermal explosions with minimal impact outside the park. Even past super eruptions didn't cause extinctions. Scientists emphasize that we'd likely see warning signs. Intense earthquakes and ground swelling, weeks or months in advance, giving time to prepare. So, what does the future hold? Yellowstone will remain active with geysers, earthquakes and occasional hydrothermal explosions. Scientists are improving monitoring systems like new seismic and acoustic stations to better understand these events. When a super eruption is possible, it's not something to lose sleep over. As the USGS puts it, Yellowstone is behaving as it has for the past 140 years. The park is a reminder of Earth's dynamic nature. It's a place to marvel at, not fear. By studying Yellowstone, we learn more about our planet and how to live safely alongside its wonders. That's the story of Yellowstone's supervolcano. Less a ticking time bomb and more a geologic masterpiece. Want to learn more about Earth's wonders? Subscribe to our channel for more science videos and check out the links below for resources from the USGS and Yellowstone National Park. If you're planning a visit, stick to the boardwalks and stay safe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next adventure.